I hope you're not afraid of the dark.
Many thanks for your gun. I'm in serious need of a real one. Well played, miss. You have our undying respect. Now, tell us what you want. Untie us, and... W and we'll kill you. Respectfully. Marcus! Are you stupid? No. As you know, my IQ is 21 points higher than yours. I was negotiating with the miss here. She tricked us big time, so she's not stupid either, which means your negotiation is not going to fool her. I believe the point here is that our logical movement implies redirecting our bad start with the miss toward a relationship based in honesty. Holy crap. I'm all for honesty, but she starts. Thanks, Julius. First and paramount, we're here for something related to a certain post-impressionist from Zundert. Would you please be so kind to tell us where the lady of the house is? What for, if she just told you herself? Make yourself comfortable, guys. You're a mega rat, 100% mega. Come here and give me a fucking hug. Weasel, ho <laughs> ho Tell me it's not you who took those two idiots down. You didn't see it? They used to have cameras. I still have them, but I was taking a nap. I was so bored, I just woke up now. What? I suppose you saw the two guys with guns up there? Are they freaking you out? I remember I gave you a contact to buy a gun. <laughs> Weasel! Okay. They are art collecting specialists. They manage conflictual situations in unpeaceful ways. I should have given them something related to the canvas I asked you to bring here. I should have, but I didn't. They're not from here. Who do they work for? For my client. Someone whose name I don't know, of course. Probably they don't either. They're alive after all. 
You agreed to meet here? Who do you think I am, what? We'd agreed to meet in a small airport on the outskirts of Hilversum, about 15 miles from here. It seems they were coming in a private aeroplane. I don't know how they found me, but who cares now? Were you already down here when they came? Yeah, there was a macho plumber fixing the boat's pipes. I came here not to puke in his face. These two sons of bitches scared the shit out of him. Ha! <laughs> he ran out of here like crazy. How long since they arrived? No idea. I just had breakfast. Early evening, I guess. I brought what you asked me for. An original by an unknown painter with the canvas and frame from the Netherlands. Would you just tell me what you want it for? In brief, I'm going to paint a new Van Gogh using your canvas and its pigments. I'll use a new forging system. 100% mega. Now I just need a subject. You want the canvas and frame from 1880 so your forgery passes the dating tests, don't you? That's it. You want the canvas and frame from eight... That's it. You'll scratch the paint from the canvas and mix it again to paint the forgery with it. Is that right? One hundred percent correct. You've gentrified rot, but you still remember the business basics. I got you there, huh? It's mega rot. An AI that stores data from paintings of all given artists in any given period in the world entirely. Brush strokes, texture, shape, color, composition, absolutely everything. Then you feed it an image and it transforms it in the style of the analyzed painter. Finally, a simple robotic arm does the rest. And do they fall for it? Do you remember that new Tintoretto they found a year and a half ago? No way. No? How do you think about this boat? You say you still need a topic? Yeah, something Van Gogh could have painted. I should have looked for something, but uh, who cares? Hey, what if you find it for me? Take a picture with this. I wouldn't be able to. My hand is 100% unsteady because of my hangover. In the hidden folder on my private server, there's a subfolder with a 3D model of an ancient coin. You need to 3D print it in gold. 100% no. I just saved you from those jerks. I can't print gold. Do you know how much one of those printers costs? But I can print it in ABS filaments and then coat it in gold. <laughs> That'll work, I guess. Just bring me some gold between six and nine grams, depending on the purity. I still haven't taken a single photo you can use for the Van Gogh. And instead of doing what you're supposed to, you came to update me on nothing. How intelligent you are. You were supposed to come to Paris two days ago. What happened? A party happened. Oh, yeah. You were just standing here, the party came, and despite your protestations, it just wouldn't leave? You know how it is. Did Lemur come? No, forget her big time. Hacker reformed. Hacker Barry. How long did the party last? Three days. Not bad. Now your parties are all about uh, tea and cookies? What's got into you? Come on. A party at Weasels and the house doesn't collapse? Everything is clean. Paris was different. We were broke. Now I hire a cleaning service beforehand, even a plumber. Ugh, yeah. Cleaning the pipes the day after your parties was just like, ugh. Did a lot of people come? Yeah, I guess so. Yes? Yeah, do you remember Squirrel? 
She lives here. She came with a couple of chicks and... Well, we closed ourselves in here with everything we needed and it was mega art. So, you held your own private party inside your own private party? You haven't changed a bit since Paris, have you? Someone has to keep the essence alive, man. Lemur married, you with a guy. Fuck, there's a chick that became a cop. Mole, don't pretend you don't remember her. Hey, who cares? The old gang is dead, but I'm not. Okay then, let's talk about John. Oh, kids, why did I ever mention it? No, no, that's not the problem. Well, yes, we have some differences there, but nothing serious. The problem is that when I try to protect him, he goes crazy. Whenever someone starts getting too close, like a chick with bigger balls than them, they just turn their fucking firewall on. Yeah, like you know so much about men. Usually I take it okay, but the other day I got mad and he rushed off. I'm not sure how he's gonna be when he comes back. Do you regret it? The truth is that I don't regret reproaching him for his obsessions. And I don't regret shouting at him either. You know, there have to be limits. Either he changes or... You won't find anybody like John. He's special. I can't believe my friend Weasel is saying this about a guy. Hi, my name is John Yesterday. I'm 500 years old, yada, yada, yada. You really thought I wouldn't notice you had another hidden folder beside the one we share on your server? Oh, yeah. And you think he's crazy as a loon? No, Rat. When you've used as much as I've used... What? But you never said anything. Not even when I asked you for the coin. We have too many unfinished issues. When we finish with them, you tell me if 500 years are enough for a man to find a clitoris. Okay then, let's talk about John. Oh, kids, why did I ever mention it? No, no, that's not the problem. Well, the problem is, whenever some... Yeah, usually... Do you regret it?
Are you still thinking about killing me if I untie you? Yeah, we're gonna kill you, but very respectfully. Why can't you just bloody well pretend for once in your life? I know you came here for a Van Gogh. Fake Van Gogh, mind you. Who cares? The thing is that only Weasel can give it to you. That's the bloody truth. Which means that if I untie you, you'll spare her life. Sure. She'll be in for some torture, though, obviously. Here we go again. Think, Julius. She's three days late. She's obviously in need of some serious motivation. Let's help her. So, you have an airplane near the city. What if we do? Yes, miss. I want you to take me to London tonight. Oh, do you? Well, I'm afraid we can't fly if we're tied up here. My brother here's got a valid point. But the real problem is that if you untie us, we'll kill you. So, even if we fly you there afterwards, well, I assume you'd rather visit London as a living being. Am I right there, miss? Uh, yeah. Basically. One moment, Marcus. She wants something. Let's assume we help you. What will you give us in return? I'll pay you for it. Good hard cash, tax free. Oh, so she's Mrs. Trump now, is she? If you're in the art collecting business, you obviously know who Victoria Baxter is. We offered her our services, but she wouldn't have them. But she has mine, and I just closed a good deal with her. Let me express my deepest envy, miss. No, wait. Is she lying, Julius? No, she isn't. Just look into her eyes. How many pounds are you willing to pay for the ride, miss? What about 2,000 pounds? <laughs> well, what about multiplying that by 20? Okay, but taking half off. Only if we add a percentage that makes me forget the or in my face and the other affronts. Let's say 35%. Good. But did I say tax-free? <laughs> I didn't mean it. We'll apply UK taxes, because that's where the service will end. Fair is fair. Then we're set for, uh, hmm. I'm gonna need a calculator. Oh, no you won't, Marcus. 23,076 pounds, 92. Seriously? Is it too much? Okay, gentlemen, we have a... Wait, wait. This has been way too easy, miss. You must be really desperate, and that's... Well, that's kind of scary. You must tell us why you're so desperate to get to London, or there's no deal. You know Coleridge's? Like the palm of our hand, miss. That's just not true. I'll never study the palm of my hand by heart, nor yours. There's this 1830s chest decorated with ancient coins that they're auctioning off tomorrow. One of those coins belonged to my partner, in the past. I gotta get it back. Oh, I see. And I guess you already have the key to Coleridge's door. We've been trying to get in there for months. The alarm system is just a work of genius. Not a problem. Uh, let's say that Weasel is not the only tech-savvy girl on this boat. Julius, this could be a new beginning for us. Yeah. Well, fuck, Mr. Dickhead. We could establish ourselves on our own. Okay, let's say I believe you. If you manage to get all three of us in there, then your plane tickets are on the house. You don't? Then you pay us. Marcus? 23,076 pounds, 92. Okay, gentlemen. We've got a deal. When my friend Weasel gives you the Van Gogh, and when she's safe, 
I'll untie you, and we'll be off. Julius, I see that you've got some gold teeth. Yeah, but that's none of your business. Actually, they are. I need them ever so badly. No way, Jose. You don't want to do that, miss. He screamed when they removed the real ones. He screamed when they put the golden ones in. He'll surely scream if you remove them now. But don't worry, Julius. I won't use the word chicken on you. Hey, you know what? They're all yours. Go on, remove them. Say, miss, do you think that the word crybaby applies here? Fuck you, Marcus. You know I can't do that, Julius. Think of the Wester Torren as a topic for the new Van Gogh. I think it's perfect. Now you go chat with your pals up there before you get bored here. I'll need about four hours to get this done. There are some things I don't get about what you do. Who do you work for? We'll never tell you. We don't even know our boss's name. We call him Mr. Dickhead. It's an extremely funny name, says Julius. You don't strike me as murderers. Well, I've never killed anyone. The violent part is Marcus's department. True. The only time Julius was involved in a fight, he lost three... Don't you dare go there. Oh, okay. I won't tell her about the teeth. He cried and complained for days on end. Mr. Dickhead called him the chicken word. I'm not a chicken! I understand you've been tied up for hours and you're aching. You know Van Gogh's place of birth? Well, miss, 
I did graduate in fine arts. With a master's degree in blood painting, I guess. <laughs> Look, I just have this eye for art. It takes a very good forgery to deceive me. How on earth did you decide to take up this particular line of business? We analyzed the market. Then took what Marcus is good at. Then what I'm good at. This was the most logical, practical, profitable, self-realization job available. You want it gold? You got it. Here you are, resourceful rat. Now you go chat with your pals up there before you get bored here. I'll need about four hours to get this done. More or less the same I'll need for the Van Gogh. Uh, good thing I solved the plane thing with Julius and Marcus, because. I'm not going to be on time for the flight to London. Guys, are you ready to leave for London? Finally. Here's what we're going to do. Please let me tell you, miss. I'm good at these things. You will untie us and give us the false Van Gogh. Arrangement closed. We will walk for six minutes to the closest taxi stand, where we'll wait between seven and nine minutes. We'll take off as soon as we get to the aerodrome, and you'll sleep instantly. You'll wake up when we land at Elstree's aerodrome on the outskirts of London. We will get our car back, drive to our flat, and prepare our plan to sneak into Coleridge's. We will get in by the side alley. Miss, you'll have 45 seconds to disable the building's alarm network. I dare say you'll do it in 43. Once we're inside, Julius will say, The piece you're looking for must be in room 12B. But I'll disagree. You're wrong, brother. It's in 8A. I'll be right, as always, and when I remind Julius of that fact, he will say, Why do you always say what I'm going to say before I can say it? And I'll answer, Because I'm good at recognizing patterns, and you only have a few of them. And you will say, Shh! you shut up and stand guard? You will extract a coin from an antique piece, then replace it with another coin, and we will run for our lives. Julius will want to celebrate, but you'll say goodbye very quickly, and you'll return to Paris to meet up with your boyfriend and probably have sex with him. But I'm not 100% sure all that is going to happen. Did they take John? There was nothing I could do. They took him on a boat, and I... I'm really sorry, Rat. I wish I could tell you where they are. You don't need to. Rue saint lison des Allers, 17th. Is that in Saint-Germain-des-Prés? Yes, it's a mansion, total snob land. If the mansion has a courtyard, it must have a sewer. And if there's a sewer, I can help you sneak in. Baxter won't be back for a while. I hate waiting. Let's take a walk. We could surely use our two hours of daily exercise. Is it safe to leave the guy untied? There he can't escape. And even if he could, he won't. Not without me. I mean too much to him. 